Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make delicious pizza with homemade tomato sauce. I've already made a video for my tomato sauce in here, so just go find that. I will leave a link below. And yeah, let's get started. So for this recipe, we'll be using a yeast starter dough, which I made 12 hours before. And it's very easy, it's just some flour, some dry yeast and some water. And then we use some more water and a mix of wheat flour and doom flour. And then we are using some more yeast and some salt. First up, you are going to add in your dry yeast and some lukewarm water. And just give it a quick mix. And when the yeast is dissolved, you just take your bowl and put on your stirring machine. Like that. And then we add in our yeast starter dough. And now I'm just going to give it a quick mix on medium to low. Now we add in a teaspoon of salt. And then the flour. Just add it all in. Mix it for 3 minutes on medium to low. And then I will let it rest for 10 minutes. And then I will mix it again for 3 minutes. And then I will rest for 10 minutes. And then I will return. So now my dough is done. And now we just have to let it rest for about 30 to 45 minutes and I think I will give it 45 minutes. Just cover it up with some plastic and when the 45 minutes have passed I will return. So the topping for this pizza is going to be my homemade tomato sauce some shredded cheese and some cut out chorizo and then when it has been in the oven I'm going to add some soft feta cheese. So my pizza dough is now done rising and I will get ready to roll it out but before I do that I will turn on my oven to around 204 degrees C convention oven and if you have a pizza stone please use it, it will give an even better result. So start by putting out some flour on the table so the dough won't stick. Then take a spatula and get the dough out of your bowl, just like this, and then just start folding the dough, Do not, and then just knead it a little, and then just cut it into two. When my dough is rolled out, I will just put it onto this. But first, you might have to add some flour, so it's easier to get into the oven. Like this. And then just put it on. And then I'll just give it a press to the edges here. Like that. And now we just have to add on the filling and then some chorizo. And now just place it in the oven until it's golden and crispy. And out of the oven, um, we're just going to add on the feta cheese, and it only got around five minutes in the oven. Just place this around like this, and now it's ready to be served. So, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you want to see the whole recipe, just go to my blog just down below here, and you'll also be able to find lots of other recipes. So, I hope to see you all again soon.